Hey guys, welcome back to BRB Kitchen. We're the Fritz, and today we're making fish sticks. Close, close. Oh, beer batter fish sticks. I think we need to apologize. Guys, it's been a while. Whew. Lots been going on? It's been a very intense month. <laughs> Two months almost. Two months, yeah. Alma lost a job, got a got job. A job. <laughs> uh, that job's a lot of work. We did a brief vacation somewhere in there. Lots of hiking. Lots of hiking. And we visited two national parks? Three. Three. And we got a national park pass now. Cooking on a trail? Cooking what? on a trail. <laughs> New series, hit series coming from BRB Kitchen. <laughs> but I will tell you that regardless of what any of you may think, uh, I'm starting to find a new value in this channel because we record things we want to eat. And the other day we made paella and I wanted to look up a recipe and I was like, aha, I know a YouTube channel. It was nice. It's like, uh, let me follow my own instructions. Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, those like old babushka or something has her own little recipe, right? Yeah, maybe we pass this on to our children. That's how you make paella. In yeah. fact, it turned out better this time. It did turn out better. It turned out way better. Sorry, guys. The real Thanks. secret's mine. Today, uh, we found out that we're going to both be moving back into our office soon. Uh, pretty excited personally. What about you? I am excited. I want to see people and meet new friends. Uh, one of the issues that we are having to confront right now is that we have been quarantined for nearly seven months. And in that time, we have uh, not been of the healthiest of types. So, typically this is made with fish and chips, as a lot of people would call it. Uh, we aren't going the super healthy route, but we are making only the fish. So it's beer, batter, fish, and no chips. I can make side salad. You could, but we already ate one before we started because we are hungry. Another one. Anyway, with that being said, uh, how do you make fish and chips? Fish um, and not chips. So I think we're using fresh cod this time. We're cutting them in small little pieces, battering them up, uh, in flour, garlic, oregano. Uh, I don't know where beer goes. I guess it goes in the batter. You'll and see. then you dip it in and push. Dip fried. Yeah, healthy. Is it healthy to use avocado oil? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think it's more of all the flour. And yeah. Wow. Anyway, that said, let's go ahead and get started. Honestly, this is a fairly straightforward recipe. And it's really good. Last time we made it, it was so delicious. It was amazing, yeah. Uh, we, I, did we still have fresh dill? No, our dill died. Dill oh. dies. Yeah, so I learned something new that dill has the lifespan and whenever the flowers start blossoming on top of it, that means it's pretty much gonna die right after that. And it did. Anyway, so yeah, it's honestly a pretty straightforward thing. I almost think this would be a great candidate for quick cooks, but eh, I miss you guys. Actually, I bought way too much cod, okay? So like Alma <laughs> said, uh, use, you know, cod, fresh cod. Well, I guess any white fish would do though. I think, yeah, any white fish. We were used to fish sticks. I don't actually know what they made out of. No out of, one like, does. Leftovers? Probably. Whenever he made this out of fresh cod, oh my The life changing. God. If you're from Houston, uh, 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 you probably know of Luby's. Anyway, it's shutting down right now, and I'm kind of heartbroken about that, mainly because when I was growing up, I would have their deep fried white fish. That was in a little rectangle. You have an even deep fried. Yeah, pretty much. That's why everything on this show is usually deep fried. We're not making lubies, but I, it, I'm gonna be doing the rectangles kind of in honor of them. Hey, by the way, uh, uh, if you're also in Houston, go check out a new coffee shop that just opened up, Buzz and Bites. It's our favorite new coffee shop that brightened up our quarantine. <laughs> yeah, sweet people. It's an awesome place. Uh, they actually gave Alma this apron here, which is what their staff uses, and it's their beautiful aprons. It's uh, like a canvas and very good quality, and it has some leather straps, and it, it looks great, feels good. I don't know how to wash it, so, oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, with that, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Yeah. I guess the batter first, yeah? Okay, yeah? so tell us, what do we do first? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know how much 
That much. Just a little bit more. So add that much flour. Uh, what do you think that is? Probably two, three cups? Two, yeah, two, two cups. cups. Not yeah. three. It's um, not enough to bake a cake. That's a good rule of measurement. <laughs> it's not enough to make a cake. It's good for batter. I like to add a little bit of paprika, personally. Garlic, because we're not vampires. I Maybe. know you were hissing all day. <laughs> My wife likes possums, okay? <laughs> if you don't know what an opossum is, they're disgusting looking. Thank you. She thinks they're adorable. But anyway, she shows me these pictures of possums <laughs> all the time. And if you've never seen a possum, whenever they get angry, they just hiss. Uh, uh, and they're hideous. You love them. No, I don't. Well, uh, why do you hiss? Because it makes you laugh. <laughs> Finally, I'm adding in some dill. Um, I'm going to add more dill. Can you add like extra? Yeah, but I'm going to put it at the end too. No. Yeah, 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 you'll see. The end's going to be pretty cool, hopefully. Finally, just some pepper. pepper. Great. Now we need a whisk. 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 Oh, we need an egg too. Okay. Here, uh, I guess go ahead and mix that first. Mix your dry ingredients first. Boop, boop. Mess it up with one egg. Should Boop. the egg go in a separate thing? So you dip it in the egg first. Ooh. This we're making a batter, like if you were making pancakes, and it's just going to hopefully, hopefully, stick. Well, you know what you're doing? You made it before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I'm basically the I fish and not chip expert. <laughs> uh, gonna add, add this egg. And then finally, while you're whisking that together. Hey, good old PBR. Uh, first off, why beer? Beer basically, it has a lot of carbon dioxide in it. <laughs> Definitely not carbon monoxide. No, it's not. Anyway, what that does though is that yeast makes all the batter super bubbly. So whenever you actually go to deep fry it, it's gonna have much more of a fluffy texture to it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so that's why people add beer to this. God, it smells like college. Since Lone Star is not a thing anymore. Oh, that's right, they shut down. Man, what's gonna happen to me and my shitty cheap beer? <laughs> it's pretty liquid, um, but it's thick. There's no... Um, but it's not too thick. Yeah, there's no clumps or anything though, so that's really good. <laughs> We're not doing bad. Julia Child's over here. Yeah. Next thing, get your cod. I am sure there's a proper direction stuff, but I don't know. So I'm gonna just do this. And to me, last one, time you made this like two, beautiful skinny, three. uh, beautiful skinny sticks. But look at that. Isn't that cute? You don't want that much? Okay, can we at least cut a little bit? I like toe and skinny. You married the wrong man. No, for the fish. You want to do the honors of dunking? Dunky! Yeah, it smells right. really good. Mm. Not bad, but I mean, this doesn't smell bad, but nice. I wish I had like tongs. We have tongs. Oh. Do you want tongs? Yeah. All right, so I just got a new phone and I'm still learning how to use it. So I had another camera right here. Uh, it turned off randomly during recording because I don't know, that's what it does. Not an issue. Um, thankfully, somehow everything's fit on the screen so far, I think. You can even see the fish on here. But that being said, I'm totally using that camera when we go over here to deep fry. So just we'll test this angle. Um, I started to think about how uh, <laughs> when we do this, I think it's not gonna cover the bottom after we pick it up from this plate. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, I think so. So then ignore the whole first step I just did and just honestly get it super lathered up with your hands. Get a little bit of the drippies off. And then lie it away from you. Okay, all of our little helpful babies are in now. <laughs> You know, this isn't gonna take very long. This is already set to about 360 or so degrees. Um, I'm personally using avocado oil. There's no necessarily good reason beyond that it's got a high smoke point. Um, anyway, what we're gonna be looking for here is just for it to start turning more golden brown and then we're gonna flip them. Uh, my guess is it'll probably be like four or five minutes. Maybe? Okay. Let's switch these. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a good color. Isn't it? Yeah. So nice. 
So yeah, once it, once it starts getting that kind of nice dark brown, that's where we like to stop. I don't know. Some other people might like it a different way, but yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good. Is it done? Fish sticks. Done. Oops, hot, hot. What I personally like to do while they're still hot um, is to get some lemon, just zest on uh, the lemon zest. Just give it a little double down on the, oh, the oh, lemon taste. Oh, anything citrusy. Yeah, all right. From there, I like to grab a little bit of parsley. Okay. You can take off the stems. I don't care. I'm gonna sprinkle this on top, just, just as a little garnish here. Okay, yeah, this is what I meant to do, um, but, but just a little bit more presentable. Next, go ahead and Alma, you can make the sauce. Yeah. What are you making? I am, I don't know. You know what, for the for the sauce, let's go ahead and actually put dill back in that. Ooh, dill, always yeah. dill. Oh yeah, it's over here. You know, dill and fish, it's the best thing ever. The best thing ever. Add in as much dill as your heart can take. We like dill, so. I used to not like it at some point, because that's all we had. Then I realized the value of it and how it goes really well with seafood. It goes well with everything. Nah. Beer battered fish sticks. Beer battered fish sticks. It's like fish sticks for adults. Yes. Uh, Want to give it a sample? Of course. All right. It's still gonna... hot. Oh, I'm sure it's super hot. Want me to cut one in half? I want you to take a picture. Cool. Oh, God. All right, here, let me, let me use my brand new camera. Do it. All right, should I cut it in half? Yes, please. Should I? Yeah. Eh, all right, let's see. What, right. You pick, which one? Okay. There you go. Woo. Yeah, that looks like a beautiful sh Yeah, I can't even say it. Chip yuck. Chip yuck. As far as I know, this is cooked. Can't imagine it not being in some white fish. How's it taste? Did you I try it? No, not yet. So hot, I'm gonna burn the hell out of myself on this. Here's to, uh... oh no, oh no. Ah. I made a mess. All right, cheers. Oh my gosh. Oh, it tastes like, it tastes like baseball. I'll try another one. You would love this. Who? Whoever's watch. All of you. It's a universal application. Okay. Everybody will eat this. Honestly, it's super good. Um, obviously, I haven't cooked out my uh, Luby's ones. I'm gonna do those next. Uh, this is likely gonna turn into lunch tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and stop recording. <laughs> dinner time. Yeah, so we go eat the rest of our dinner. Still gotta cook the rest of it too. Guys, uh, I really appreciate everybody that's been supporting us this far. Uh, I'm sorry that we kind of took some time off, but uh, it, was, <laughs> it was getting a little overwhelming. Um, that being said. Excited for the upcoming holidays, parties. Very small parties. <laughs> uh, one last little highlight, uh, we finally, put in some uh, uh, window blinds over here. So that I hope oh. helps with our recording to not make it so unbalanced in the lighting. So, all right guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, make sure you tell your friends, subscribe, follow our Instagram, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're, we're not dead. hip enough to do TikTok yet, but maybe we will. We're know. not dead yet. Yes, <laughs> we're not dead. Um, anyway, we'll see you next time at BRB Kitchen. All right, let us know what you want. Bye. Bye.